Hello and welcome to my 35 days of thanking God for 35 fabulous years of life because God is so good. He is worthy to be praised. For today's episode, I am thanking God for the wonderful gift of self-worth and identity and purpose. <laughs> okay, y'all know towards the end, I'm just like having more and more to say so my titles are getting a little bit longer but i've grouped these three together because um in this journey that we've come on we have reached this place of knowing you know um today our pastor was just talking about we know you know reading a bible verse that says we know just like one of my favorite verses for we know that all things work together for the good of those who love the lord who are called according to his purposes romans 8 28 <laughs> um there are some verses which i know the numbers to thank you guys there's hope for me yet <laughs> but um on a side note you know um i've also discovered that you know sometimes we think the bible is for people who know the verses and they just like you know bible school graduates but the bible is for all of us don't be afraid to you know just whip out a verse you may have it completely correct or not but it's for you it's for me it's for all of us you know uh, we should actually be engaging with it as we engage with it and we see it as our book our a word from God to us you know personally then we will begin to know the numbers of the verses and all of that other stuff you know but it shouldn't be something that we feel like it's only for our pastors to engage with and for our pastors to know you know we should also begin to engage with it and to get into it to read it to find verses that we love that give us strength and hope and um increase our faith you know so yeah that's my side note but coming back to today's um thankfulness topic i'm really thanking god for self-worth you know we live in a time where you know there's a lot of consumption of media now we're in the internet information age you can really um find yourself not having a clear idea of your self-worth as a human being as a child of god you know because maybe this kind of person is trending this kind of complexion or body or or qualification or the home play hometown or whatever you know there's so many things that in the popular culture it's always spinning the wheel is spinning of what is acceptable what is popular what is the desired look the desired whatever you know the desired way however the word of God is eternal it lasts forever before we were it was you know after us it will be so once we discover our identity as the children of God through the cross of Jesus Christ through him coming and redeeming us from the bondage of Satan we are able to be set free indeed in so many ways you know Jesus says um, if you are truly my disciple you will know the truth and the truth will set you free you know and um when you get to know the truth of what god says about you how god sees you what god purposed for you as his child his heart toward you it gives you a good sense of self-worth a self-worth that's based on the rock of ages you know a self-worth that cannot be moved like the parable where jesus talks about people building houses you know either people build a house in sand when the storm comes it blows it away and other people build their house on the foundation of rock so no storm no rain no wind no weather can shake that house you know we have to really have our identity and our self-worth rooted in jesus christ in the rock of ages you know so when your identity is built on Jesus, on the rock of ages, it is like the parable that Jesus shared with us where he says, some people build houses in different conditions. You can build your house in sand and when the wind and the storm comes, it sweeps it away. Or when you build your house on the rock with the foundation on the rock, any storm can come, any rain, any weather can come, but your house will still stand because it is built on the rock of ages, on the strong foundation, you know. 
So when you really begin to know your identity as a child of God, as a royal priesthood, as, you know, seated in high places with Christ, above all principalities and strongholds, when you know that you can, you have the power to walk over serpents and dragons, over demons and every force of Satan, then you can really, you know, step into your purpose um, that God has placed each and every one of us. Like I said, we serve a God who is more than enough. One of the names of our God is the God who is more than enough and there is more than enough glory in God for each of us you know he has given each of us a, a purpose a, um, a glory a power love all these wonderful qualities for each and every single one of us you know so I'm really really happy that you know God has brought me into this place in my life where I want the will of God to manifest not my will but his will because you know my mind can change I can be like <laughs> wanting one thing this year and the next year I don't want it you know there are things that I used to really want and pray for a few years ago that I do not want right now you know but God is eternal his word is forever it is eternal so he doesn't you know in him there's no shifting of shadows he God is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should change his mind you know one of my other favorite verses but um you know so we can really just depend on god and trust him for our lives for the purpose of our of why he has created us and placed us where we are you know and when the glory of god is seen in us you know when the blessing of god manifests in our lives it's not something that's just for you or the people that you're closest to that you love god can bless you in a more than enough way for everybody you know god can bless nations through you you know god can bless future generations through the blessing that he places on your life you know so i'm really um wanting the will of God for my life to manifest. I'm really praying, you know, for the purposes of God to prevail. One of my other favorite verses is one that says, you know, man plans, you know, different things, but it is the purpose of God that prevails, you know. So I really do want the purpose of God to prevail in my life. And I pray this prayer for everyone that I know in my family, my church, in our nation, on this beautiful continent of Africa, you know, may the good and perfect will of God manifest that we may see his glory you know he is a glorious God he's not a God of of lack in him there is no lack there is nothing missing nothing broken you know all the answers to our prayers are yes and amen and I'm really just um really super 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 thankful for the gift of um the call of God on our lives you know the beautiful things that he wants to give us like the verse that I shared with you earlier my favorite one that says you know no eye has seen nor has the ear heard nor has the um, heart perceived and conceived the will of God for each of us it is wonderful you know so thank you so much for watching today's episode cheers <laughs>